Welcome to Scene Course presented by Yes. What is Syslog? Syslog stands for System Logging Protocol and is a standard protocol used to send system log or event messages to a specific server, called a Syslog server. It is primarily used to collect various device logs from several different machines in a central location for monitoring and review. The protocol is enabled on most network equipment such as routers, switches, firewalls, and even some printers and scanners. In addition, Syslog is available on Unix and Linux-based systems and many web servers including Apache. Syslog is not installed by default on Windows systems, which use their own Windows event log. These events can be forwarded via third-party utilities or other configurations using the Syslog protocol. On any given device various events are generated by the system in response to changing conditions. These events are typically logged locally where they can be reviewed and analyzed by an administrator. However, monitoring numerous logs over an equally numerous number of routers, switches, and systems would be time-consuming and impractical. Syslog helps solve this issue by forwarding those events to a centralized server. Traditionally, Syslog uses the UDP protocol on port 514 but can be configured to use any port. In addition, some devices will use TCP 1468 to send Syslog data to get confirmed message delivery. Syslog packet transmission is totally asynchronous. What causes a Syslog message to be generated is configured within the router, switch, or server itself. Unlike other monitoring protocols, such as SNMP, there is no mechanism to poll the syslog data. The syslog message consists of three parts. PRI, a calculated priority value. Header, with identifying information. And MSG, the message itself. The PRI data sent via the syslog protocol comes from two numeric values that help categorize the message. The first is the facility value. This value is one of 15 predefined values or various locally defined values in the case of 16 to 23. These values categorize the type of message or which system generated the event. The second label of a syslog message categorizes the importance or severity of the message in a numerical code from 0 to 7. The two values are combined to produce a priority value sent with the message. The priority value is calculated by multiplying the facility value by 8 and then adding the severity value to the result. The lower the PRI, the higher the priority. Syslog messages are sent from the generating device to the collector. The IP address of the destination Syslog server must be configured on the device itself, either by command line or user interface. Once configured, all Syslog data will be sent to that server. There is no mechanism within the Syslog protocol for a different server to request Syslog data. Take in consideration that the Syslog protocol can generate a lot of messages. Syslog simply forwards messages as quickly as it generates them. As a result, the most important ability for a Syslog server is the ability to properly filter and react to incoming Syslog data. SoloWin's Security Event Manager by processing and normalizing log data before it's written to the database, SEM can deliver true real-time log and event correlation. Predefined and custom correlation rules allow Security Event Manager to automatically alert on possible security breaches and other critical events. My name is Aurora. We hope you have enjoyed this video presented by Yes.